much, Honorable Ibrahim Sane, the MP for Jia North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've read the report and uh, I entirely agree with the proposal and the nomination of the members to the Council, Climate Change Council. What is of importance, Mr. Speaker, climate change is never natural. Climate change is artificially induced. It originates from what we do to Mother Nature. It is entirely the results of anthropogenic activities. And whenever we distort the equilibrium of nature, nature has its own way of also come revenging and attacking us back. We have been so adverse to nature. We have been deforestating, cutting trees, releasing carbon monoxide to our stratosphere. And the result is what is at hand today affecting everybody. Mr. Speaker, climate change affects all facets of the society, from food security, diseases, insecurity. Actually, climate change can be termed to be the mother of all evil and must be fought from all fronts. Mr. Speaker, it's clear that what used to be a temporal, uh, uh, I mean, diseases that were common to some ecological zones are available everywhere today. You must have heard recently, we have new variants of mosquitoes who are hard to manage and resistant to treatment. That is the, really the effect of climate change that was with us. Some 20, 30, 40 years ago, people felt that climate change only affected assholes and dry areas. Today it is in Mount Kenya, what we used to call the White Highlands. It is everywhere. It is global. And I think time has come that we deal with it squarely and we mainstream climate change in all aspects of our, govern our governance. Mr. Speaker, I have gone through the Equalization Fund and how it was distributed. It is manifest that every region is trying to qualify as an asset. And it is genuine in my view, because climate change has reduced every region to be classified so. Otherwise, it would have been only for northern Kenya. Mr. Speaker, before I dwell on the effects of climate change, even within our laws, I think it is time to synchronize our laws. We have various aspects of climate change in various statutes. If you look at the Agriculture Act, there is a casual mention of climate change. There is the very comprehensive Climate Change Act. There is the Water Act. And there is the MCA as it is amended act which also talks on climate change. Not forgetting that NEMA is the focal point, focal office for United Nations climate change. I think we need to look on our legislation and harmonize them so that we can, ha we can deal with climate change effectively and have one orderly legal uh, system in our statutes. That bes uh, besides that, Climate change has affected livelihoods, more so in assholes. The rangelands is the biggest sequester, or rather the sink of carbon monoxide, which is the culprit of climate change. We must deal with managing our rangelands. We must control how pastoralists keep livestock. It should no longer be for prestige. It should be economic delivery, Mr. Speaker. I can see time is up. I could say water harvesting should be another thing. Soon we will be having climate change refugees. Initially, we used to have refugees as a result of insecurity and wars. Now, we will be inundated, flooded with climate change refugees. And the earlier we deal with it, the better. Thanks. And I, I support Mr. Speaker.